Don't flop all fucking day. BattleRap.com. London, England, make some noise. Yeah! It's a free party, seventh birthday weekend. Rapper to my right. Introduce yourself. JR Slander, SoundClick, New Jersey. ADHD. Don't flop, where the fuck you at? Yo, what's the deal? It's your boy Big T, Mr. Chalaka Boo, Mr. Boo Block, and Kevin Nick, Mr. Boo. To my left, introduce yourself, bro. You introduce me, man. Chris Lee. Yeah! Lee! Let's go! Camden Crew, Camden Crew, what's up? Yeah, dog, I'm from Manchester. First round. Ah! nasty. First round over here, let's go. Go, Chris. Happy birthday, don't flop. Thanks for the invite. But this is a situation I happen to dislike. I went from bodying in two champs to battling shit guys. Everyone got an international this time and here's mine. <laughs> Cheers guys. <laughs> and we get to battle at the pre-party too. Woohoo! Well I'm just playing my part. But if her doesn't want my birthday presents, then you won't see my name on the card. Oh. I can't wait till my birthday. Shit. <laughs> It'll be proper sweet. Crates of beer, grams of coke, lots to eat. Yeah. Uh, you can arrive the night before and it's fine if you want to sleep, but when the party starts and my real friends come, you've got to leave. <laughs> <laughs> this battle's fucking bollocks. <laughs> Your shit. I ain't practiced. I'm like an OAP at the gym. I'm only doing it to stay active. I ain't in it. I ain't in it for the money or the fucking pay packets, but I'm not supposed to make classics when we're different weight classes. Literally. Your first name is John. Accurate. Fucking John. Your mother sure seems like an imaginative one. <laughs> but what Americans call John, the English refer to as Bog, so in more ways than one, you're something I'm shitting on. <laughs> and you call yourself Jay Arslander. Oh. <laughs> That's gay. Damn straight. When Ice Cube said put your ass into it, he didn't mean your rap name. <laughs> But you're repping that New Jersey. Jersey. Mate, props. Jay's block stays hot. I'm repping that New Jersey too. 40 quid from ASOP. <laughs> I don't know, I've got a question. I guess I'm just unsure. Why do American dads always call their sons sport? <laughs> You've got a sister called table tennis and a brother named football, but they call <laughs> I got a question, I don't know, I guess I'm just unsure. Why do American dads always call their sons sport? You've got a sister named table tennis and a brother named football, but they call you donut because that's all that you run for. Ooh. Food or fuck all. <laughs> and speaking of football, you guys are confused and daft. The clue's in the name. It's something that you should grasp. Use your feet to kick the ball. Don't be a group of stupid twats. If Uno wanted a foot job, you wouldn't use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and, you can, and you can diss our legal tender, but that isn't really fair. Americans say pounds instead of kilograms. That shit is pretty rare. You're the same on the scales as a friggin' grizzly bear, so if you convert weight there to currency here, you'd be a fucking billionaire. <laughs> and it's no secret, your mum's got a crap problem. She doesn't do drugs, just most of her pubes have crabs on them. <laughs> my shit is real, my shit is raw, my shit is authentic, and you can't say arse lander without putting that arse in it. Yo, 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 you can't say arse lander without putting the arse in it, but you're a faggot. No wonder the word had to have a pause in it. <laughs> Yo, you know what rhymes when he's only coming back for a shot of your soul? What? Well, you got me, so her fucking bodied you, bro. <laughs> I was supposed to battle shoddy too, but he said no. <laughs> Look. <laughs> 
look, it's obvious people don't treat you with a lot of respect. I mean, I don't know exactly what Chadi had said or what had gone through his head, but he's got some nerve turning down Chris at such an awesome event to battle some random guy named Charlie instead. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be bubbling, taking matches above all the main attractions. The Tony slumped you and laid you flat, and you'd be stuck with the same reaction as when you suffered that famous lashing. You want to scuffle? Let's make it happen. Have you buckling, shaking after I'm crushing your frame to ashes? You're gonna need the muscle of Kane in back of a couple of trains attached to a truck with amazing traction to pull my knuckles out of your nasal passage. Ooh. You fucking dick. <laughs> Yo. Yo, dude, yo, it's easy to make them root for me. You, you're one of the originals, but you're not as good as you used to be. This man's become Shang Tsung. I mean, you might have took out Seoul, but you're not a boss anymore, and you just don't seem like the same dude to me. I mean, and proof would be how, you, how unanimous surpassed him in a big way. I mean, he's battling Big T, and you couldn't even get Big J. <laughs> And, and things change, but you stay in the same spot because this man doesn't travel. What, you think you're international because you had one Canada battle? You said everyone here thinks I'm a no-name, which had me laughing my ass off as I prepared for this asshole because you're the one that has to live in a unanimous shadow. What? Yo. Yo. And, and despite the, the blatant help he gave to you, you called him out on pay-per-view. I'd never battle Uno, so I really can't relate to you. I thought that y'all were family. I guess you really are a snake, it's true, because a snake always has to shed its kin while it's making moves. And aside from the blatant politics, without her, you would not exist. You're always trying to steal a title, plus everybody hates you. That's the reason I can't rock with Chris. Still think you top and list? Shut up, bro. Stop it, Chris. You battled two title holders and couldn't bring either champagne? That's the reason you ain't popping, Chris. Yeah. Look, you had your chances. I did it. You lost the shot you was given. Now Chris is stupid. Just stick to music, baby. Missed the blueprint. You're no longer one of the best in England. <laughs> Remix. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> you stupid Yanks, just too enthusiastic. If someone offered you a pamphlet or a mouldy tuna sandwich, you'd probably jump through a hoop, do some dances, maneuvers, backflips, new gymnastics, and shout, Woo! This dude's fantastic! <laughs> but you feel sad because you've been blessed with a large dome and remain pissed off with the hair that you can't grow. I just think your barber's an unprofessional asshole. You told him you had a battle and he gave you a Beppe DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> DeMarco. You come from a country of unintelligent vendors who rearrange the date format to pretend that you're clever. If we had If we had this battle yesterday, you'd forget your agenda. Instead of the 12th of November, you'd arrive on the 11th of December. Must be dyslexic. I ain't taking a piss. You rearrange the letters in lips and ended up with a lisp. Everything, everything you say is so hard to understand when you say it like this. I thought your surname was Flanders till I read the title under your vid. Could you have trouble pronouncing words that are terribly essy? Imagine him in his bald direct door trying to buy some Alethi. It must be embarrassing watching Breaking Bad and cheering for Jesse, but this battle's like Heisenberg's camper van because it's about to get methy. <laughs> You're so fat you should probably be fucking dead. <laughs> but it's a shame, because with that list, exercise is easier done than said. <laughs> oh, shit. That was his best part of don't blame, don't blame me for your morbid speech impediment. I reckon you singing thong song could get awfully repetitive. <laughs> if you wasn't so massive and fat, I'd say you dabbled in crack. Teeth like big teeth, massive and black. <laughs> to eat albums when you're having a snack because you misunderstood the term platinum plaque. <laughs> and at job interviews you just pray that your mouth stays shut. 
You're the only guy on earth that will benefit from DNA's look. <laughs> <laughs> you brushed your teeth once last year and you were so made up you posted a pic of you smiling and got banned off Facebook. <laughs> Serious, all of you fucking Yankees are mindless, but us British love helping out our fat little sidekicks. I don't care if you're having a crisis, battling ISIS, Iraq and Iran are countries, not fucking Apple devices. I rack, I ran Apple devices. The second part though. The second part fell in the bars. <laughs> My shit is real. <laughs> My shit is real, my shit is raw, my, my shit, shit is, is authentic. authentic. And you can't say your rap name properly because you got a lisp and you're faggot. Make <laughs> <laughs> some noise. Woo! 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 Your mom's got some amazing tits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But her face is shit. I invited her on a date, wanted to show her around my place a bit, and long story short, on a scale of one to ten, she ate my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to convince me she's not a gutter slut. She got the jail ID number from every thug she fucked tatted right above her cunt. She's, she's got another one that says free wheezy tatted under her bubble gut and the bitch scream out big meech whenever she about to bust a nut. <laughs> Listen, your whole style is not aggressive. You're wildly unimpressive. You're a shit pal, so quit bothering your head and get filed under my checklist. Your facial hair makes you look like a pedophile, which I was just not impressed with, because when you shave your face, you look like the child that got molested. <laughs> the last skank bitch Chris went on a date with requested a rape kit. He's not the guy you want to bring to the movies. I'm not saying he'll put roofies in your drink, but ladies, he might put some drink in your roofies. <laughs> Fuck Netflix to get chicks crispy making up pickup lines that are not even real. Asking bitches if they want to come over to fucking Cosby and chill. <laughs> Cosby and chill. And if you keep showing up at their door before with that chloroform, then they probably will. Now we could go joke for joke or toe to toe and prove who's a more ruthless rapper. We could battle on the roof and I'll let you climb down as long as you admit that it's a losing matter and there's no excuses after. I'll toss you from the top and you'll get bruised and shattered. I'm suggesting you could either choose the ladder or you could choose the ladder. I mean, come on, Chris. I mean, come on, Chris. Your double time's the only thing that makes you unique. And maybe you think it is making you greater than me, but I'm afraid you would need to, but I'm afraid you would need to exchange, I'm afraid you would need to get, to get paid to receive a retainer. Or fee. Uh, I'm afraid you would need to get paid to receive a retainer for fee. Come on. I'm afraid you would need to get paid to receive a retainer for fee. I'm afraid you would need to get paid to receive a retainer for fee. This was a fucking really good scheme, too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yo, uh, yo, listen, I was, I was attempting to do a crazy scheme for you, because I'm, <laughs> yo, because, because I'm trying to teach you, uh, it's all a lie, you're blinding people, your whole style's deceitful, trying to disguise your feeble, rhymes behind a 40 bar double time setup with one line that's lethal, you have a problem with efficiency, finding Nemo. <laughs> I don't think I won the round. I wanted to get you the end of the round. Spencer Spencer the fucking fish and fade. He tried to do double time. Guess what? His lift got in the way. I want to have a fucking lift. Okay, Chris. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> you just brought me fucking up. Give me one second, you make two, your joke. Back to back jokes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back to back. 
you came to this event feeling a little afraid. So you probably need Uno Labos and his gimmicks on stage. If he wants to help out, I'll pay the kid a wage, give him a spade, and he can start digging your grave. Yeah. For years you've wanted to be Uno's best mate. So you drink tequila, wear flip flops, use words like comprende, eat burritos, then play insane in the membrane. Jay, you're not down with the essays just because you wrote one in 10th grade. <laughs> And I'm racist, it's all for a worthy cause. Plus, Mexican and black jokes are too similar now. You heard one, you heard them all. <laughs> Hold it down! You probably think more hip hop to the president's black. <laughs> I burn white hell down, piss in the Confederate flag. <laughs> Bitch, it's a new wave of fucking terror attack. Someone sending it back with his head in a bag. You can suck my fucking dick, you American fag. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't been very clever when considering your naming. Slander is a claim that can harm your reputation. So your alias contradicts every single thing you're saying because every verse of yours is a slanderous accusation. Man, I should bash your face and switch into Patrick Bateman, chasing with a chainsaw, brave for assassination. Wage war, I slash your veins with a stained sword, your matter spraying off on the top of the head, you drop dead, and I ain't talking decapitation. Yeah. 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 I'm talking lacerations, tortures, strangulations, mortuaries, caskets, wakes with all of your family praying. Try angles, find out what my fucking hands are saying. Jay's beyond saving for rocking with Illuminati Masons. Oh. If he does beat me, I bought a gang of mates in Jay. Game pass round like a pack of rasters blazing. Oh. But I ain't bought no ratchet, Jay. Now, nah, mate, no cannon spraying. One uppercut will lift your cap in the air faster than graduation. Oh. Chris. Uh, woo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My shit is real. Now fuck off to the States and tell Arsenal bars and it doesn't rhyme with authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fucking dumb. I did not write Arsenal's slogan. <laughs> Yo, he came up with a dictionary definition for slander. That was cool. Look at that. Yeah, I'm a liar, faggot. And by the way, you're good at rap. <laughs> Yo, when this battle was confirmed, Big J's mom inboxed me. She wanted to remind me that her granddaughter was a fat bitch. Oh, oh. Shit. <laughs> That's it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hear he goes to Arsenal games just to binge with his homies. First half, he's trying to convince whoever will listen that he isn't a dope fiend. Later on, he's sniffing his coke beads off the dick of the visitor's goalie. Second, <laughs> second half, he's got his pants down, shirt lifted like go leads, and has no fucking idea that that isn't the home team. <laughs> By the time this shit is over, he's finished a fifth of a brick and he's so lean, which is probably the reason they make you sit in the nosebleeds. Then <laughs> <laughs> there was that time, I saw you on your knees though once, sucking dick for a kilo and some Heathrow pup. I'm like, Chris, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, uh, it's my costume, yeah, for Halloween though, bro. I'm like, who the fuck are you supposed to be, Deep Throat Thug? No! <laughs> no. And he said some shit about Uno making burritos and shit. Me, I'm making the burritos? Alright, or maybe empanadas or lasagna. Fuck it, maybe you should try it. Too bad Chris has always been on the fucking Whitney Houston diet. Oh. No, he can't get back on cake. He can't get back on King of the Dot because this dummy isn't focused. So he switched to King of the Rock and put his money where his nose is. <laughs> you need to quit with all that lazy crap. I'm in a better place, in fact. You have more views than me, true indeed. The truth is that I get paid for rap. Do you? I got paid for being Well, night. you need to pay him back. <laughs> Come
<laughs> Bryce snorting lines for the only five quid he ever made from rap. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so let's go, Chrissy. You'll fold quickly, your soul's mine, this is it. This is go time, and your bones ground, and this clone lies in a ditch. Fuck whoever thinking your flow's kinda legit, or who's ghost riding your shit, cause this broke son of a bitch with nose ground in a dick till he choke right on the tip for a cosine and some chips or a coke line and a spliff. Uh, Yo, yeah. he's over here think he's living the Hollywood dream. But what you don't understand is things are all, aren't always not as they seem. <laughs> so why don't you... That is true. That's actually... <laughs> I swear I knew this shit like three hours ago. So you might as well pass away. So you might as well pass away in a bathtub, you little wannabe fiend. That way you'll be just like Whitney. Because we can watch this bitch die while he's trying to get clean. And y'all bathtub, yeah. Y'all and y'all heard about Y'all heard about Lamar Odom? Yeah. That whole tragedy is too sad. And it might be a little early for jokes, but too bad. That dude was, that dude was in a coma for four days. How's it feel to know, as a true fact, that that guy has been sober longer than you have? <laughs> Time.